KSBY News reporter Alexa Vertola looked into this gray area many patients and even doctors are unaware of. She joins us now live in studio. Alexa. Christine and Kathy, less than half of all states have something on the books about pharmacist refusals. We talked with one local doctor and his experience he describes as rare. Dr. Ken Starr is an addiction medicine specialist. He treats dozens of patients who are dependent on opioids and he often prescribes Suboxone to reduce symptoms of addiction and withdrawal. This is a very commonly prescribed medication and is considered a first line treatment for anyone with an opiate use disorder. It's a strip that dissolves under the tongue or against the inside of the cheek. Dr. Starr has been prescribing this medicine for seven years without a problem until recently. The issue involved the Save On Pharmacy in Paso Robles. When I called the pharmacy to just check in on why it wasn't available there, uh, and at first it was kind of a story, well, it's back ordered, and then I kind of informed them that it wasn't. Then it, when I really drilled down about why it really came down to that pharmacist's personal belief that this wasn't the medicine that they were comfortable giving out because they didn't think it was helpful. We talked with one local man who takes the medicine Suboxone. He was in a car crash in 2011 and was prescribed pain medication to deal with his injuries. He became addicted. We altered his voice to shield his identity. And it's something I never, ever uh thought would happen. I, I, a normal functioning member of society, have a, I've had a job now for a long time, have a family. Um, it's, it's, no, it's something that uh, I, I'd never considered and I, and I feel it can happen to anybody. His friend who was addicted to pain pills who did not get help, he says, died from an overdose. Learning that one patient was denied the medicine that's kept him on the right path is shocking to him. All it does is allow you to function. It allows you to, to it just, it just, uh, curbs of withdrawal symptoms, you just feel normal. While the pharmacist's refusal may come as a surprise. I was really in disbelief to find out that a pharmacy didn't think that it was a useful medicine and didn't want to, you know, dispense it to their patients. I mean, this is a standard of care in medicine, and this medicine every day prevents people from overdosing and dying. A spokeswoman for Savon Albertsons and Vons told us the companies do not have a policy against stocking and dispensing Suboxone, but the pharmacists have the final say. The spokeswoman sent us a statement which reads in part, while our pharmacists do have the right to conscientiously object to dispensing a prescribed medication because of their personal beliefs, they have a shared responsibility with the prescriber to provide medications that are safe and effective. In California, pharmacists can refuse to fill prescription if their company allows it and if the patient can get the medication somewhere else in a timely manner. The man we spoke with says the drug has been invaluable. It saved his life. If it wasn't for this medicine, um, I probably wouldn't. Uh, I'd probably, my marriage probably would have ended a long time ago. Uh, I, I'm sure I wouldn't have a job. Um, I'd probably be in prison or dead, to be honest with you. And we reached out to the pharmacist directly involved in this case, but she declined to comment. Live in studio, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. Alessa, thank you for that. And on average, 115 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose, according to the Centers for Disease Control.